Hi, my name is Flossie, and this is my 1999 Ford E350 step van, my tiny home on wheels. To hide from the sun. I will literally melt. Windows and doors and breezes open. I'm just gonna take that as a little sign to be like, these are my new friends. I think when people come to big gatherings like this, there's an expectation of finding community. A howl. And it's the same as any other gathering. Meeting people and making new connections is sometimes hard. And it requires a level of putting oneself out there, being like, hey, I wanna go meet that person. And being bold enough to do so. I am full of euphoria for how I sound right now. I cannot believe I'm yet off to the US again crossing the border from Canada and traveling all the way down to Oregon this time. This is my desperate effort to hide from the sun. Hey, look, tree branch refixed my chimney. Ha, huh, how hilarious. Hopefully it doesn't break it again when I drive out. Unfortunately, there's tree branches on my solar panels. I think my battery will last for the day while I have to work, but today is a work day and I will literally melt if I have to sit inside this van in the broad daylight. So I have crawled as much as vans can crawl under this tree in an effort to survive. And I have my Starlink out there finding service. And if I get too, 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 too hot, look what's right there, the river. So if I get too hot, I can jump in, cool down, come back. So all is not lost, but oh my gosh. Woohoo. But yes, that is less than ideal. So I'm gonna drive off very, very carefully so that these don't do too much scrapey scrapey. There's little sap suckers on that tree out there. And one of them was just on my roof. And I was going do, 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 do. just up by the fan. It was so freaking cute. I have tucked myself away in the trees and the internet is not great. It is very patchy, but it is enough to do some work and I am going to be cool because it is another really hot day today, but I am tucked away in the trees and I have enough power in my batteries to run the Starlink and charge my laptop a little bit. I will do that for today and then when I start driving, because I think I have one hour left to drive this evening, I will recharge both by solar and via my alternator charging. So if I drain the batteries a little lower than usual, I'm okay with that because the payoff is staying cool. I have my fan on probably here and I am well under a tree so getting out is going to be tricky but we'll be okay so long as we remain cool I am so much happier than yesterday yesterday I cooked and melted and couldn't function the whole day it was miserable Blah. what a gorgeous view out my window and thank goodness for this window and the breeze <sighs> Lunch time. Look at these gorgeous eggs. Thank you so much. They're so pretty. We're gonna fry an egg, put in some of my green pesto, some leftover bits and pieces, jalapenos and sauce and dressing and nuts and I'll see you in a back in a second. <sighs> so hot. I have windows and doors and breezes open everywhere I can. 
the fans on, but at least I have food cooked. And now hopefully we'll stay nice and cool in here because I'm tucked under this tree. Mmm. Lettuce, basil, tomatoes, grapes, cashew nuts, and a blend of my green herb pesto and an egg with salsa and, cre and sour cream on it. Sparkling water. Mm. Cheers. At least I can eat today. Yesterday I was so hot I couldn't eat. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That is quite the riverbank. A couple of meters. But I'm now right on the river and my van is just behind that tree so definitely time to go for a little dip because I am cooking and I am going to spend the next hour driving so I really like to do so with my body temperature lowered Did my hair even get all the way wet? Not quite. <laughs> That's funny. This is a cold river, which is perfect on a day like today. Right, time to pack up, get on the road, and I'm going to camp. I'm going to camp. I'm going to camp, 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 camp. I can't wait to tell you all about this van slash gathering slash queer group that I'm going to. It's amazing. and out of the sh sun into shade. to say goodbye. 
melt and pick you up sometime in the unknown future. Good morning. This gathering was at a beautiful campground, a lodge. The beautiful old log buildings, little tent areas, and cabins for those who didn't come in vehicles. Only a small percentage of us came in vans. There was over a hundred people. A lot, an intimidating amount for somebody who's a little shy and introverted. Each morning started off with activities. Throughout the day, games. For me, I chose to spend downtime socializing with people in quieter spaces. Making new friends. Finding people my own age. Talking to people with larger and more different experiences than my own. Doing a lot of people watching. Something to delight in. <sighs> Sometimes big community events can be both simultaneously super exciting and super overwhelming to go to because of the number of people. I am going to escape to the river to chill out and bring my nervous system down a level. It is so cool to be around so many queers and the excitement and overwhelming at the same time. This is what paradise looks like. Oh, so good. You all know how much I love water. Going for a swim resets my nervous system somehow. And in the absence of salt water, Beautiful rivers and lakes have been my company on this trip down through Canada to Oregon. I was feeling really shy at the beginning of this event, so I spent plenty of time swimming in the river. It was a heat wave. The temperatures were incredibly high, over 100 Fahrenheit, over 30 degrees Celsius. And so it was a welcome cool down for both my physical system and my nervous system and my mental health. It's one of those things where it's not goodbye, it's see you later. Hoping that folks will come up from the US to Canada someday. Remaining somewhat connected through the internet. Remembering together as you watch this with me, the beautiful times that we spent together, the laughter, the joy, the terror readings, and the dancing that we did as we connected. Good morning. That's the river. It is day two and a half of camp. And I probably haven't shown you a whole lot of people stuff, but I've shown you a little bit around the property and the vehicles. And it is really lovely. There is a range of ages of people here. There is a range of genders and bodies and abilities and people I've met and not met and people from all over the country um I'm not the person who's come from the furthest away which is kind of cool people have flown in people have driven in and all of that and so it is really sweet to have a gathering of beautiful queers here at a beautiful location and I believe next year's location will be somewhere different which is really cool on a lake instead of this river so I'm really enjoying moving water um, with yesterday I spent a lot of time in the river swimming at one point there would have been in like 30 people just up and down the river either on the banks of the beach or in the water it was lovely I think today there will be a river float and yesterday we did a whole lot of games in our teams with a team song and a team chant and oh my gosh 
having to stand up in front of a whole group of people and share something as a team is the most daunting thing ever but each different team had a little vibe some of vibes were super competitive ours was really sweet and chill and a lot more introverted which really suited my energy and made all of us on our team quite happy so there's space for everybody and everybody's energies and what you what and how you desire to participate um it's really beautiful here i'm really happy to be here i think a lot of my social anxiety has dissipated because i have now met a few folks and feel comfortable feel the people felt into the people who i get along with and click with more easily sometimes that's the hardest part about coming to a gathering when you don't do them all the time there are some people who in vans who just go from gathering to gathering to gathering and I'm not that much of a party person or a people person. I tend to be more of a recluse and somebody who hangs out by myself most of the time. So coming down from Canada as well to come to this, it's pretty special. To wake up and better open my de back doors and have a view like this is also pretty beautiful. <sighs> so far... I'm glad I'm here. A howl. Hello and good morning from the river. Today is the last full day of camp and I thought I would like summarize how it's been, what it's been like because I've not really filmed any of the major activities and events and more focused on filming the quiet moments, things like this. events the whole mostly the whole day from yoga in the morning to workshops to games to group floating down the river and often that means a hundred odd of the campers there's uh, just over a hundred people here this year will do all of the things all at once and I'm a bit of an introvert and so I like to do things when there's less people but I have participated in some of the games and it has been very very sweet. There have been teams that are young and all rah 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 and competitive and our team is so freaking adorable. Sunny side up because they were assigned by yellow colors and I picked yellow. The organizing crew have done a really amazing effort in trying to make everything inclusive and accessible and also that's a lot of energy to manage all the time and a lot of people. And so it's been really nice to be subversive in a way of picking and choosing my own adventure spending time in smaller groups of people in smaller little circles and 
I've really appreciated that. I think when people come to big gatherings like this, there's an expectation of finding community. And it's the same as any other gathering. Meeting people and making new connections is sometimes hard. And it requires a level of putting oneself out there or being willing to make the first introduction. Hey, my name's this. And that's really daunting sometimes and has been very daunting for me. Especially when you see and know people from the internet who have personalities or larger audiences and then coming to a place like this and being like, oh, I'm going to meet that person. And then realizing that that person already knows a ton of people and has existing friends or is working and is really busy and so is distracted and isn't there also looking to make friends. And so it requires a level of being like, hey, I want to go meet that person. And being bold enough to do so. And everybody I have done that to, I have found the person who's the most awkward is myself. And the person who's most shy is myself. But they're also shy and possibly awkward. And that gentle putting oneself out there has made such a difference. And so I really appreciate little introductions and little spaces of being like hi I see you I see you <sighs> I encourage a little boldness and a little courageousness in a gentle way that feels good for you and I have done that myself and made some cute new connections and I am really grateful for that and really appreciative of it so, and I've also appreciated the boundaries that I've had myself to step out of something and I'm like, that's too much, that's too overwhelming. I didn't go to the talent show, I listened to it from a different field over. Uh, I had just peopled out. My social battery is not very big. <laughs> A river is a vessel of constant force, carving the world as she flows, along an ever-changing course. She's the keeper of water, with the power to replenish, a messenger of change, cleansing and renewing as she gathers and sheds along the way. The river meanders across lands, searching for the words that can settle the thirsty souls along her shores. Words that will replenish the seekers of knowledge and soothe those that cry their burdens into her waters. She listens for songs and poetic charm and verses of a writer's tongue. She hears a few among the voices skilled in binding words into flowing thoughts in diverse forms. They are ambitious enough to swim in the vastness of her waters and come together to share passages of thought through writings. Every month their captured voices swim the currents that flow free from all four corners of the globe. Curving towards the pool of thought, their writings merge with poetic songs as the waters unite their voices in one fluid piece poured around the world upon the shores of the river. Good morning from a truck stop the night after prom. I left Camp Pride and I've been heading back north. I have a time frame and a deadline to get back home. Look, just a little memory of happy, sweet, dear times with queer loved ones. I've had an amazing little time 
entering into a space where there's a diversity of age, ra age ranges and people who have known each other for ages and people who you're just meeting for the first time is intimidating and I made friends, I made connections and I danced and I swam in the river and I cried and I sat with my vulnerable emotions and while I don't have much of this to show you because it was a personal and private experience, I'm really excited to share with you the journey getting there and my reflections afterwards and I am just feeling really lucky to be alive and now I'm at a truck stop if you can't hear the traffic. Today I have to work so I will get some stuff done and then I am continuing north. I hope you can hear me over the sound of the river. This is where I slept last night. Leaving camp, I had a day of work to catch up on, and then I wanted to head to the coast. I drove down Washington and Oregon through the central route, and I really wanted to see the ocean. Are you surprised? So coming across, going west, I feel super stoked that I'm parked here. There is a little bit of shade and <sighs> my solar is barely keeping up with my fridge. I charged my batteries last night with my inverter charger. Um, as I was driving, I forgot to turn it on for most of the way, so it only charged a little bit, but I got some pet juice in there. And then today we get to, I get to wake up here. This is a beautiful BLM land spot. I am absolutely thrilled. This is gorgeous. It does remind me of being exactly where I would be if I was in Vancouver Island. The cheering has taken it right out of my voice. and This is what I sound like now. And I kind of like it. I think I love that deep and gravelly sound. I am full of euphoria how I sound right now. A huge thank you to the organizers of the gathering, the people who made this happen, who worked hard tirelessly all weekend. I hope to see you all at the next one next year at the new location. I am excited for more gatherings to bring us all closer together. Stay tuned next week for part three of my trip in the US. I am heading to the coast and I'm very excited about seeing the ocean. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It makes a huge difference. I'll see all of you Patreons over on there for the behind the scenes updates real time of what's happening right now. <laughs>